Oh yeah, so right now what I'm going to do is a relatively simple but fun and cool looking trick. Um, I'm going to saw myself in half and have my, my torso float off one way and my legs walk off another way. So what I'm going to do is take a green sheet of paper, put that down. That's my mark to stand on. And I'm going to record two video clips. The first one, I'm going to sort of saw myself in half, half with the wand. And as I do that, I want it once, once my wand goes across my waist, I want to make sure my hands stay above waist level because I'm going to sort of split the clip in the middle. And I don't want to have my hands go down below that point where I split it so my hand disappears and it comes back. So I'm going to say, and now for my next trick, I will saw myself in half. And then I sort of go off to the side there. Maybe I wave my arms like I'm floating. Then I get back to my mark. Now I just need to record my legs going off the other direction. And that's really all the raw footage I'm going to need for that clip. The first thing I'm going to do is drag and drop my raw footage in and I'm going to trim down that raw footage to just the pieces I need. So I'm going to trim off the introduction I did. I'm going to split the clips in between. Um, so I've got one clip where I'm walking off to the left, one clip where I'm walking off to the right, and get rid of everything after that. I'm going to put in a blank green background and I'm going to set the duration of that for 20 seconds to start. should be long enough for both clips. I'm going to put the first clip on top of my green backdrop, then the second one, extend the background a little bit. Now I'm going to use the green screen effect to clean up my backdrop. I'm going to drag the corners to get rid of everything around my green screen so I don't see the cabinets and stuff like that anymore. I'm going to also use the eraser to erase the highlights so I've got myself in front of just a nice clean backdrop. And of course I'm going to do the same thing on both clips. Now I'm going to export that as a file. I save it. I'm just going to call that cut one. Once that's done I can delete the footage from the timeline and now I'm going to import that video clip, cut one, into my timeline and I'm going to split it in a few spots. Um, I want to split my clip and trim off that extra green space in between where I'm walking left and right. I'm going to split the clip right before I move my sort of wand to cut myself in half. I'm going to put in my green backdrop there and put the first clip on top of the green backdrop then the second clip on top of the green backdrop. And again I'm going to use my green screen effect but I'm going to move the corners to a different spot. On that first clip I'm going to use the green screen effect and I'm going to raise it so that I trim off basically everything on the bottom half of the frame. So I'm basically cutting myself off at the waist so I'm just a floating torso. Then I'm going to go to my second clip and I'm going to use the green screen effect and this time I'm going to move the corners to cut off everything above my waist. So it's just a pair of legs that walk off to the left. And again I'm going to export it as a file. So I'm going to call this one Cut 2. Now that that's done I can get rid of the clips from my timeline, put in that Cut 2. I'm going to split the clips in between, so I've got one spot is just the torso going off. I'm going to split the clip, trim off anything where nothing's happening, and then I'm going to take the clip of my legs and put it on top 
Now I can use the green screen effect and wand goes and I'm split so I go in two different directions. Of course as with most effects it is more complete if you add sound and so I just use the iMovie iLife sound effects. And now for my next trick I will saw myself in half. Of course, most people don't like a plain green background. The purpose of the green screen is to replace it with something else. So I'm going to put in a generic stage backdrop on my bottom layer. Remember, the green screen footage always has to go on top. I trim my clips. I get rid of any empty space in the green screen footage. And I trim the background so that the duration will match the top layer so that I don't appear or disappear in the middle of the footage. I'm going to use the green screen effect and then on the bottom layer I always need to turn off the Ken Burns effect so I go to the cropping tool and change it to crop to fit and that's pretty much it. I can export it as a file and that will be my cut 4. And here's my final composite shot. And now for my next trick I will saw myself in half.